Okay, so I'm here with some messages um, at a request. Um, you guys want to know what he was thinking. You want to know if he's going to play football again. You want to know what he's up to. You want to know why he abruptly changed the location for the practice and um, what's his true agenda. So it's a lot going on. He wanted us to know that the situation is not positive. And I know I'm going to do a lot of things that you guys probably know already. I don't know much about him. But he wanted us to know that things is not growing and things is not positive and that he had to let it go. He wants us to know that he's trying to do the right thing. And he has been trying to do the right thing. But he has to release certain things because they're not growing and moving in the proper way. Um, yeah, that's how he views things. He wants us to know that things is not moving in a proper way. I actually can hear him like, trust me, trust me. He really wants us to trust him. Um, he's upright. He is the strongest spiritually, probably as he ever been or always have been. He's spiritually strong. He's not, he's strong. He's not having, um, weakness right now. He's strong. He's clear minded. And he's saying that things is not going the way they should go. And he had to release some things. He want us to understand that. He want us to know that we can trust him. Um, that's very, very clear. He cares about what's happening. His heart is into this. He's trying to create something. He want us to know that he's trying to create success and he keeps getting stopped. He's getting blocked. He's getting stopped. He's not having victory on the things that we think he's supposed to have victory on. It's almost like it's two stories happening at once. He makes me feel like what you see is one thing. But once it come to me, I can't have it. It's not the way that they said it. So about time the information gets to him, it has changed. So someone is giving this information out one way to us. And he want us to know that that's not the way it is when it comes to him. It's not growing. It's not working out once it get to him. He has to release it. Not because of what you heard, but because how it got watered down and changed once it got to him. So I hope that makes sense. But he is definitely clear as ever. He's trying. He's he's tired, but he's trying. He's trying to create a win for us. He makes me feel like he's doing this for us. It's like I'm trying to make a win for us. I don't know who this us is because. Okay, just give me a moment. He's connected to um, history. We know that. But he's also connected to war. Oh, oh, wars. Wars on horses. There are some serious things that has happened in war. Well, his, maybe his bloodline is connected to that. I don't know. But there are some things about war that bothers him. And that's who the us is. I don't know who is us. I don't I don't know. I don't know who the us is. I don't know what he's trying to create and who he's trying to create for. It's not as obvious as I thought it was going to be. This is more than what we think. This, this don't have nothing to do with black people is what I'm trying to say. It's not about a color. This is not about color. For him, it's not. The us is not the color. It's something else. Hmm. Something else. It got something to do with law. It got something to do with being cheated out of something. 
law. It's about something that's written. This is about a piece of paper that was written. It's something written years ago, and he does not accept that, or he believed what was written um, caused a lot of issues, and people owe us because of that. So he's trying to retrieve back some type of respect and honor, and he's trying to... Um, get what we deserve. He never planned to respect this certain part of America. This is, not, this is an American issue to me. It's, it's bigger than that. It's, this is America. He has an issue with America. And I think that some of us is being made a fool out of. And I'm, I'm not saying that because I feel some deceiving nature. It's not that. I'm saying that because... We came up, we assumed that, that this was a little bit more personal than what we thought. This is not what you think. It's not like that. And I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But I do know whatever the majority thinks, that's a piece of the aim. The aim is really something to the right. This is about blood. And he hasn't, he wants us to know that he's trying to create a win. And he has people um, stopping that. But I see that um, he's waiting on a certain thing to happen. He's been asking for a miracle. And I think it's going to happen where this power is going to come in and allow him to be what... Um, he wanted to be in the first place so something is going to happen that's going to tear down or tear down some things break some things there's a tower here there's a moment of abrupt supernatural thing that happens and when it happens it will give him the power to do exactly what he created what was that whatever broke down from the beginning he has to walk away. He wants us to know that when he walks away from something, it's meant to be. He knows what he's doing. He got to find another way to do it because this is the, not the way it's supposed to be done. So physically, mentally, he's drained. He's tired. But spiritually and, um, yeah, spiritually, he's not. That was weird. He wants us to know that he knows what he's doing and he's praying for a miracle. And I'm, I really do feel like he's about to get it. But in the meantime, he's trying to find another way to make it happen. He is not moving on impulse. Uh, he's thinking before he touch, before he move, before he speak. He has his own private <sighs> duty. It feels like he has his own private duty, like someone gave him some duties in an envelope and said, complete this task, keep it in secret or keep it private or just don't tell your next move. Because he has a whole plan and theory and blueprint on what he want, how he want it and exactly how it's supposed to be to the T. And he's trying to make sure it happens that exact way. Yeah. I don't feel a lot of anger. I don't feel anger. I feel honor. I feel that this is bigger than what we ever thought. I feel like he has the confidence and the warrior spirit inside of him. He has a one-track mind. And um, I also feel like as quick as he get this, as quick as it ends, it's almost like going through all of this work. Plane, trains, and automobiles just to get there on this special day. And when he get there, the event is over, over in three hours. He's doing a lot to get to a certain place. And he's going to get there. And when he get there, it's going to be over so quick. And I don't even know what that means. But he's paying the price 
to win something, to have victory over something. And when he get it, it is so short term. Why did he change that location? Why did he change that? He was running from something. He was running from something. He's basically saying that he had to run to get away from toxic, unhealthy behavior, fear, bondage. Some kind of way during that day, he got information that the devil was coming. (laughs) I don't know the other way to say it. He got information that that someone was coming or someone had intent to do something that made him physically not safe. I'm telling you, something about what happened made him feel like he was in danger. Either he felt like he was in danger. No, he felt like he was in danger, but I don't know what kind. Is it danger for his life? Is it danger for bodily harm? Or was he he felt like he was in danger of things not going smoothly? So he had to reroute some things. So that makes me feel like someone, it could be a Capricorn, someone came or change plans that he didn't know nothing about. Sass white. He was running from he was running from the enemy. And I just saw the hairs on the back of his neck. I just saw the hairs on the back of his neck. Something that makes you feel like that. He had that moment. And he was trying to protect himself and his people. He did it for protection. He could have quit. And that's the thing that I think people probably don't like about him. Because most people in this situation would just go with the process and and, and sign the paper and keep going. And sell your soul. And some people probably play it off and keep having a lawyer say, we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you. He could have played it off in different ways, but that's not how he rolls. He changes things. He makes change. He's fighting a group of people, and they mind freaking each other. This actually can be a movie. Maybe it will be a movie because I see it on the screen. This is like spiritual warfare and mental mind games. To prevent from selling your soul. That's how this feel. Because instead of him saying, I quit for today. He basically said, we're going to reroute this. Because the enemy not going to know it. Or not going to know in time. And they won't be there. It was someone he was trying to get away from. He knew that this person wouldn't follow him there. That's what he knew. Or he knew that this group of people wouldn't be able to get there in enough time or fast enough. He was trying to move it to another place so that he can reunite with the mission and show his passion. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this passion. I don't feel much passion. And I don't even know why I just got an attitude. But I just got an attitude. I don't feel much passion pumping inside of him. And what I mean by that is, like, like, I don't see him like the heart of it. Where's his heart? It's more of this, this Gemini spirit and air spirit that I pick up on him more than anything. There's a numbness there. I actually feel like I can't even say what I want to say. It's not the best thing to say. So I'm going to try it this way. He's more than angry. And this numb spirit and this anger together makes him like an icebox in the inside. 
but he does have this one track man towards making something happen. And he's strong right now. He's not broken. It's a possible Capricorn he could have been running from. He was definitely running from any toxic behavior, any danger, any unhealthy behaviors. He was running from that. He was trying to get away from some type of conflict, which was really be surprising to me because this was a planned thing. So he knew who was going to be there and he knew what was going to happen. So whatever this reason is, is because it was off the chart. It was a pop up. <laughs> Why do I feel like he felt like, I don't know, that was somebody was going to injure him. I keep feeling like that. I feel like he really think that he might be in physical danger. Like he was going to be injured. Like something was going to be tampered with. He didn't trust his surroundings at that place. And whoever this person is that came in and gave him this alert and signal, that's the devil. That's the person he was running from. That switcheroo that happened or that input, something extra happened. So he went to the new location so he can reunite with the first plan and still make it happen. So he really do desires to work with someone. I'm telling you, it's really, really true. He really do want to play football. That's not a problem. He wants to do that. And he's keeping his calm because he's more than angry. His anger is actually going into this silence. I wouldn't be surprised if he talk, if he talk for a long period of time. You might see him bite his tongue and his face turn red. He do want to work. He do want to play football. He do want to have success. He do want to make something happen. He really do. And he was moving over to a new location so he can get things completed. But he was punished for leaving. Yeah. But he knows exactly who his opponent is. He he knows who he's fighting. We don't know. We don't know who we fight who he's fighting. But he knows exactly who his enemy is. He knows the person and the group of people and what they have planned against him. He knows. And I could tell you something else. He has really pissed off his enemies. Really have. These are not personal enemies. These are enemies of the plan. They had a plan and he broke the plan. This is about pride. This is about ego. You broke the plan. We had a plan set and you, you broke it. You made us look like this and you made us look like that. And we're trying to get you in, give you a gift, and then make you crawl up out of here. We want to make this story end with, it was meant for you to stop anyway. You weren't strong enough, no way. Amazing. What is his agenda? He's very passionate about where he was at before everything happened. He wants to get back to this place that he was at back then. But of course, he can't make that happen. He's going to have to eat those years up. Oh, I feel like it was years. Whatever, whatever that day happened, he's trying to get back there. And he can't. He can't even get back there physically. He's not the same. Why do I feel like he has aged 10 years? He aged quickly. Man, body, soul. Physically. He has aged so quickly. He wants to go back to that day. And he wants to keep going forward. Being a person of change. Doing whatever he want to do. He actually want everybody to go by the rules, but it don't work like that. I definitely understand that. I'll be keeping him in prayer for that because that's a hard pill to swallow. Will he play football again? I got a yes, and I'm not comfortable with him going back in the spirit. 
I got a breakthrough here. I got a breakthrough because what they did today, whatever they did to him in private at the first location, they got to cover that up for real this time because that sucker will answer many, many questions on the first part, the initial thing. And of course, I see Jay-Z a part of all this. I just keep seeing the tip of his hat like he tipped him. Maybe Jay-Z tipped off something that day. It just felt like he just tipped his hat. He has exposed them today. So whatever, is that today? I don't even know what day it is. I'm just going off the person who requested the video. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I don't know what day this happened. He exposed something. It, this actually makes me feel like this was almost worse than the initial thing because more comes out with this one. I don't think this one's going to go away too quickly. The situation, somebody got to answer and he's not going to answer. That's going to be the breakthrough. The breakthrough is that they're going to have to answer for what happened at the first place. Somebody got to tell why he switched. Somebody got to say what got cut in, add in, brought in. Somebody got to explain that. So it's almost like he pissed them off more. It's almost like he exposed this even more with this incident today. And because of that, they're going to give it to him. I do believe he's going to play. I do believe he'll be playing football again. I also believe that if he do play football, it'll be very, very short term. It doesn't feel like that chapter lasts that long. I just see him going in, being able to create what he wants, and I also see him being able to go to the team that he really want to go to. I see him getting a position, being solid. <laughs> Why do I see the team? I don't know. No. I thought I saw a glimpse of the uh, uniform. Mm -hmm. I heard royalty. Heard that. Then I saw purple. Then I, I saw green and I saw purple. Then I saw royalty. And um, that's what I saw. He's going to be happy with the team that he's with. Now, when I said that he's going to play for a short term time or once he wins, whatever he really trying to win, because I still don't know what he's fighting for. I keep hearing us, but it don't feel like us. It don't feel like that. It just don't. Maybe I have to come back to that one day. It don't feel like that. But as soon as I saw what was happening and what he wanted us to know about, I'm trying my best to create things, and I keep failing at these attempts for us. As soon as I saw that, I saw him. Um, sometimes, you, oh, not sometimes, the Olympians, yeah, the Olympics, the Olympics, and they win. And you know that the, they have the first, second, third place with the medals, and they get ready to get the medals put on them. And you know how the stage is, a little stage they stand on. One is down, the middle one up, and the other one is down again. And that's how quick I saw him go up and then walk right back down. And it was quick. It felt like this was a victory that's granted, but very, very quick. But before all of that, we need to listen. And I'm talking about we, and I know I'm not going to listen and watch this stuff. But we need to listen carefully. Get out of that energy of emotions and listen carefully to what's supposed to been happening. What's supposed to been happening? I know y'all understand me with the switch. You got to listen carefully to what each person say and, and what he say if he speaks out. Because it seems like you got to take pliers to open his mouth because he's very cautious about what he's doing. Um, so I 
can't even picture him talking much or not talking at all. He's very, very cautious because he's trying to win. He's trying to expose something in his silence. He's he's doing this. Um, who is that? What that movie was? Dang, I can see the little kids running down the hallway at the school. Lean on me movie. I can't think of his name. Working free with play. He got that type of attitude to me. That type of spirit. Um, he's very careful about what he's doing. He's trying to win. Um, with a with a um a silence. You know, it's so crazy because okay, I'm almost done. I'm just talking talking right now. But um, I saw designated survivor. I know I'm late and all the other stuff. I barely watch TV. It gets on my nerves. But um and they had a, a one of the episodes when these people uh, Native Americans come there to do a tour and they're um they ask, is this the right hallway that goes to the president's office? The people says yes. And then about twenty to thirty people sit on the floor. And they said, We will sit here until the president comes speak to us. Because we're not losing our sacred land. And that's how he makes me feel in the spirit. Like we will sit in silence and win. Okay. All right. So if there's someone you want me to come back with, all you got to do is comment on any of the videos. Or you can email me, um, revealinghp at gmail.com. And I will have that video out ASAP. Okay. Bye-bye.